When my sons were in seventh and eighth grade, I was one of their football coaches. I was an expert for a long time, then I became a coach. When my son James was in eighth, place, or eighth grade, we were first place. Tommy Reese was our quarterback. Then he played quarterback for Lake Forest High School and the University of Notre Dame. I gave him a post-game quote that he never used. I wanted him to say, I was very well coached in junior high. <laughs> I taught him what Bill Wade taught me, footwork and follow through. I also taught him to be a servant leader like Jesus who washed the feet of his apostles. When I think about Tommy Reese, I hear the carpenters sing close to you and I rewrite the lyrics. You know, I've heard Mr. McCaskey sing that song probably close to 10 times now, <laughs> including in front of our entire school in eighth grade. And, you know, it never uh, ceases to amaze me on his, you know, spectacular voice and the notes he can hit. <clears throat> you know, first and foremost, you know, I want to say that I'm truly humbled to be in this room uh, with so many amazing people and some of the stories I've been able to hear today. You know, it's truly inspiring. Uh, I would like to thank you know, Mr. Pat McCaskey. Uh, not only for that great introduction, but also for the nomination into uh, Sports International Hall of Fame. Um, being inducted into a group that already, you know, has people like George Hallis, Brian Piccolo, Wellington Morrow, it's also a, you know, very humbling honor. I also like to thank some of my uh, friends and my family and close friends, um, some of whom are here today. Uh, without them, you know, I would never have been able to accomplish some of the things I was able to, and you know, I owe a lot of my success and you know the person I am today to them. To speak on Mr. McCaskey, uh, I first met him when I came to Lake Forest in 1997. My family had just moved here, and my dad had taken a job with the Chicago Bears, where you know obviously Mr. McCaskey was working. Uh, it didn't take long uh, for to strike up a very close friendship with his youngest son James, who, despite going to Boston College, him and I you know remain very close to this day. Uh, you know, when I was very young, I remember always looking forward to going over to the McCaskey's house. If you didn't see when I walked up. Uh, Mr. McCaskey and I had a pretty elaborate handshake. I always looked forward to that, and when I came through the door, we'd do that handshake, and he always would say, hello, Tommy, welcome home. Uh, still not exactly sure what he meant by that, but <laughs> I remember always looking forward to it and always you know, made me feel welcome. Uh, you know, later on, you know, as I grew up and with James playing sports at St. Mary's, Coach McCaskey was our coach in seventh and eighth grade, and you know, like you mentioned, uh, you know, I remember various tackling drills and you know the weeks upon playing OLPH, who was you know the best team we played every year. We had extra sprints, and you know, no one ever looked forward to that or you know wanted to be on the wrong side of that. But more importantly, um, Mr. McCaskey, you know, through his standards, you know, made us all better people at a young age. Um, his undying passion and assurance and faith, uh, you know, rang throughout all of us, and you know, it truly made us understand how to best connect faith and sports and represent something that was, you know, bigger than ourselves. So for that, I would like to thank him as well. Uh, my dad, who's here, uh, Bill Reese, he's been, you know, in football his entire life, and you know, my love and passion for the game came from him. Uh, beyond football, he taught me to be the best individual off the field that I could be. Um, I bring him up because I, you know, every week we would talk football, and I remember before some of the big games in Notre Dame talking to him, and you know his message was pretty consistent. He said, "Just don't be nervous, play the game like you're playing at you know West Park here in Lake Forest with all your buddies at St. Mary's." Uh, like most everything with football, my dad was right. Uh, helped calm me down. At the end of the day, I was still playing football, the game that I love. Um, as I reflect on that message that he gave me, you know, I began to learn that. Uh, that message rang true um, in all aspects of my life, not just football. Um, you know, in my academics at Notre Dame, I was held to the same standards there that I learned while I was at St. Mary's, which helped me graduate this past December from the Mendoza College of Business. Um, most importantly, though, I think you know that message rang true is because the way I was able to develop my faith at, throughout my time at St. Mary's. Um, you know, that is something that served as one of the biggest aids and, you know, the success I was able to have and, you know, throughout my time at Notre Dame. You know, when I walked on the campus as a young 18-year-old freshman, you know, there was an at-home feeling that comforted me throughout that. You know, I learned that this was because, you know, I was living in an environment similar to the one I grew up in at St. Mary's. 
uh, the strong values of faith were everywhere and you know from the dorm life to the football field our team chaplain was my dorm rector and you know I felt right at home especially on Thursday night mass when you know he would serve us milkshakes after it was always something to look forward to um, as I continue throughout my life you know these are some of the principles that I want to carry on and move forward through um, being able to go to two great Catholic schools here in town at St. Mary's and graduating from Notre Dame uh, you know I look forward to my next journey and being able to you know represent the strong connection between sports and faith again I want to thank everyone and it's truly an honor to be you know in the same room as all these individuals so thank you